Hey guys, it's Ryan from The Surfer's Journey. Today's video is a little bit different. It's all about understanding why The Surfer's Journey exists, because understanding what the why is will help you guys understand whether or not you want to be a part of The Surfer's Journey and the community that I'm trying to grow. I'd like to thank each and every one of you that's watched the video or subscribed to this channel or follows us on Instagram. Your support makes a difference. But to each and every one of you, thank you for being a part of The Surfer's Journey and I want you guys to understand where I want it to go and why. So let's start at the beginning. I learned how to surf when I was 13 years old. And from the very moment I entered the water and started surfing, I was hooked and I absolutely loved it. And what I loved the most about it was being out in the ocean, being into an environment that was so different from where we are usually. I loved being out in the sun, in the waves, in the ocean. It was such a healthy experience and one that I became totally addicted to. As the years progressed, I started to compete locally and eventually on a national level where I competed in the Australian Pro Junior Series and also at the national titles. I really enjoyed this and I was fortunate enough to meet some amazing people and have some great experiences along the way and I'm very grateful for that. But I found that the grind of competing and always trying to improve and hassle with other people for waves, I just really didn't enjoy that. And I actually lost that enjoyment and passion for surfing. I had a big break from competing and had to decide what my next step was. Having that break from surfing was the best thing that I could ever do. When I eventually came back to surfing, I just remembered why I started in the first place. It was all about having fun, being out in the waves, relaxing, and having a good time with your friends around you. It was also around that time when I decided that I really wanted to be a part of something greater. I wanted to have a job where I could give back to the community, where I could help people in some way. Fast forward another couple of years, I was lucky enough to become a first responder in one of the local emergency services. Becoming a first responder and being able to help people in the worst time of their lives was something that I'm very fortunate to have and I feel very privileged to have that opportunity. But at that point in time, I wasn't really sure how surfing and that would actually come together. It would take a few more years before I'd actually realise the power of surfing and how it could benefit people in those high stress environments. But it's also equally as relevant to the everyday person dealing with everyday stresses. Having served almost seven years in an emergency service, I've been exposed to lots of traumatic events, whether it's death or serious injuries. And I found for me personally that by surfing, I'm able to manage that stress and it makes me feel like I can manage that cup. You might have heard the example of when you deal with traumatic experiences, your cup starts to fill up. And if you can't manage that cup properly, sometimes it will overfill and that's when you may have issues. But it's all about trying to manage that cup. And I feel like for me, surfing is therapy and it allows me to de-stress after traumatic events. And I know that surfing can do that for lots of other people. Mates that I know who have served at the highest level, people who have been in the special forces and the defense force who have gone overseas to war, they have also used surfing as a form of therapy. Surfing works for them, so I can almost guarantee that it will work for you as well. And that's why the surfer's journey exists. To help people through surfing, that's the reason. So to anyone out there who's used surfing to help improve their life and also manage their mental health, please share your story in the comments section below. That's what the community is all about. It's not just about me sharing tutorials to help you guys improve your surfing and even learn how to surf, but it's more important that you guys share these stories with each other. That's how we're going to build our community and that's how we can help more people all over the world. Once again guys, thank you for your support over the last 12 months. I can't wait to see where we go over the next 12 months. And guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe now so you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos and tutorials. And you can also follow us on Instagram at The Surfers Journey. The Surfers Journey now has a range of apparel available, from beanies to t-shirts to hats and coffee cups. For more information on how you can place your order, email thesurfersjourney at gmail.com. Be sure to visit The Surfers Journey and check out some of our other videos, surfing tutorials from point of view, from the air and from the beach, and detailed, honest board reviews. And you can also follow us on Instagram where we post hints and tips.